Okay, welcome to lesson one, looking at binary. Um, but first, before we look at binary, let's look at our normal numbers. Let's look at the number 173. Now, we use the what we call a base 10 system. What that means is we have 10 digits from 0 up to 9. Now look at your hands, you'll see you've got 10 digits. So if we look at that, that's technically our units. That's our tens. And that is our hundreds. And if we went on, we'd have thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands. But a little bit of math. Why are they, you see that they're going up by 10 each time. Now why is that? Because technically this unit here is 10 to the power of 0, because that equals 1. And if this one's actually 10 to the power of 1, that equals 10. This one is actually 10 to the squared, which equals 100. So you'll see why they're increasing by 10 each time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a binary system. If we look at this one, let's start with a nice small number. This is the number 9. Now, where have we got that number from? Well, remember in decimal numbers, we started ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Binary is different. Binary is what's known as a base 2 system. The only two characters we've got here is 0 or 1. So, if I... That's actually stands for the value 1, that stands for the value 2, and 4, and 8, and it would just actually carry on going all the way up. We'd, we'd always get bigger by, by a factor of 2. Now where have we suddenly plucked those numbers from? Well, it's a base 2 system. So 1 is actually the same as 2 to the power of 0, because any number to the power of 0 is 1. 2 is 2 to the 1. 4 is 2 squared, 8 is 2 to the power of 3, 16 is 2 to the power of 4, and so on and so on. So that's where we're getting these values from. So how do we go about converting a normal number into a binary number? So let's look at a small number. Let's go for a number of 75. So we're going to convert the number 75 decimal in into binary. Now there are a few ways to do it. There's a division method and there's a multiplication method. We will look at the division method first. So what you do is you divide 75 by 2 and that equals 37 and we've got a remainder of 1. What we need is we need these ones or zeros when you're doing the division because that's actually going to form our binary number. But more to that in a second. What you do is you grab this 37 and you put it here and you continually divide by 2. And this is known as modulus division because we're using the remainders. So 37 divided by 2 would be 18, remainder 1. So we put 18 back down here, divided by 2, and that would give us 9, remainder 0. And we want to keep on doing this until we end up with nothing less. So 9 divided by 2 would be 4 remainder 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 0. 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0. And 1 divided by 2 gives us nothing and remainder 1. Now, you read the number from top, uh, sorry, from bottom to top, and you write it down from left to right. So this 75, our binary number is actually 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. 2, 4, 6, 7. 7 bits of a binary number. So what we'll do is we'll just grab. So remember earlier on those place values that we said? What we're going to do is we're going to try and work out is, is that correct? What we do is this should be 1. Oh, sorry, I forgot to grab the pen. So this should be 1s, this should be 2s, this should be 4s, this should be 8s, and 32 and 64. 
So when there is a 1 beneath a place value, what we're going to do is add all the values together. Now, if there's a 0, we're going to ignore that place value. So what you'll see is, it doesn't really matter which way you start, but we have a 64. We've not got a 32 because there's a 0 there. 0 standing for a binary of off. So we've not got a 32, we've not got a 16, but we do have an 8, and we do have no, no 4s, but we do have a 2, and we do have a 1. And if you add all, all, all those up together, 64 and 8 is 72, plus 2 is 74, plus 1 is 75. So that's how we convert into binary, and we've just double checked that it converts back from it. Now you've got to remember that binary is a base 2 system, we can only use zeros or 1s. You've got to remember that the place values always increase by 2 each time. Okay, so let's look at another example. So let's compare another random number again. So if we pick uh, 127 in decimal. So we are going to convert that into binary. So remember what you're doing is dividing it by 2 and we're looking for a remainder. So we're doing whole number division, so modulus division. So 127 divided by 2 would give us 63, but we'd have one left. 63 goes down here, we divide that by 2, and that should give us 31, remainder 1. 31 divided by 2 would give us 15, remainder 1 again. So 15 divided by 2 is 7, remainder 1 again. 7 divided by 2, and 3, remainder 1. 3 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 1. And 1 divided by 2 is 0, remainder 1. And again, you write it from bottom to top, left to right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. 4, 5, 6, 7. So what we'll do now is we'll go and check if that binary number there, so I'll just remember this is binary, so I'll write a little B beside it. We want to check if that is in fact our 127. What we'll do is I'll just write my binary number up at the top, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to convert that into dec decimal just to check. Remember, the number we want it to come out with is, and it's right up on the corner here, is 127. That's the number that we're aiming for. So we've got to remember that, and that is 1, that is 2, that is 4. 8, 16, 32, and 64. So remember, when there's a 1, you add the digits together. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 is 3 and 4 is 7, 7 and 8 is 15, and 6 is 21, plus 2 is 23, plus 4 is 27. Just carry the 2 over there, 6 and 2 is 8. 3 is 11 and 1 is 12. Okay, so we've converted to number 2 binary and we've just double checked it and we've added it, added it together and confirmed it. So we have so far covered putting numbers into binary and converting them from it. So key points to remember are it's a base 2 system, 0 and 1s, and that the numbers, the place values double every time.